Hey guys, welcome to Calculus Daily, episode two. Um, so just a bit of a heads up to you guys. There's going to be three questions in this um, um, in this video. Uh, just pause after the question has started, and then maybe work out the answers, and then check the answers with me on this one. All right. Anyway, off we go to the first question. Okay. So what they're asking you guys is if um, u equals to this clearly show u cubed on this argon diagram below right so what you really i mean i'm going to show you the long way and the short way of doing this so the long method is because u is equal to one plus square root of three i u cubed is equal to one plus square root of three i cubed All right and if i expand this out i get one plus root three i times one plus root three i times one plus root 3i okay expanding this out so this is just like a normal quadratic I expand this up so I get 1 plus root 3i plus another root 3i and then plus 3i squared because this, this is where my 3i squared is coming from all right good so far so that's my first two brackets and I still have to multiply it by 1 plus which is this bracket here okay so when I simplify this, I'm going to get 1 plus 2 root 3i. 3i squared can be written as minus 3. Okay. And of course, I still have my 1 plus root 3i. So again, simplifying this, I'm going to get negative 2 plus 2 3i multiplied by 1 plus root 3i. So far, so good. Okay. Again, treat it like a quadratic. So two times negative two times one is negative two, uh, and then negative two times positive three i is going to be negative two positive three i. Then I have positive two three i, sorry, two positive two square root of three i times one, so it's positive two square root of three i. And then finally I have this one here, which is two, which will be two root 3 times root 3 is 3 and then i times i is i squared okay so this then would be negative 2 of course these two terms are going to disappear and i have got plus 6i squared negative 2 plus well because it's 6i squared 6 times negative 1 it's negative 6 and so this is equal to negative 8 all right um, isn't on that way now to draw this on the argon diagram because this is a complex number which is which can be written um, said it could be said as negative 8 plus 0 i so u cubed is literally going to be here that's u cubed okay now I am going to show you another method and I'm going to see if I can try and paste that picture in here when I complete it over the top you can what you can also do is in, in your graphics calculator you could literally do this in your graphics calculator just put 1 plus root 3i cubed and if you press that it should give you an answer of straight away negative 8 as well that's another way you can do it and real quickly but the reason I wanted to show you guys this method is if there is a variable like x or y in there you won't be able to do it in your calculator and so you need to learn how to do it all right questions okay so, with this question, what it's asking us is to find the gradient of the tangent to the function of this function here at the point 1, 1. So, first off, um, we're actually looking for equation of a line, right? Because that's what gradient of the... Um, or is it actually not even asking that? It's just asking for the gradient. Mm. So, it's just asking for the gradient. So, we already have got... We've got f of x which is 4x minus 3x squared to the power of 3. All right. If we differentiate this, we have to use chain rule. So it'll be 3 multiplied by 4x minus 3x squared to the power of 2 multiplied by the differentiation of whatever is inside the bracket here, which happens to be 4 minus 6x. Is that all right so far? Mm -hmm. So to find the gradient, you're just looking for f dash of 1. So then this would be 3 brackets 4 times 1, which is 1, 
minus 3 times 1 squared, I might as well write it. So I got 4 times 1 minus 3 times 1 squared to the power of 2 multiplied by 4 minus 6 times 1. So I've got 3, 4 minus 3 squared times 4 minus 6. So 3 times 1 squared times negative 2. So my gradient is negative 6. Questions? So where did you guys go wrong? I extended it and then I was doing it further. And then I was going to set it at the end. Okay. It would have been ugly. Yes, it would have been ugly. <sighs> but keep it simple, right? Some, I mean, it's when you ask for, to find the gradient, you're literally just differentiate it, substitute the x value, and find out what the gradient is. And that's it. Questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Thanks, Sophia. It's like, uh, anyway, look, um, this one is asking for integration. We've got two separate terms. Now, with plus, when you have plus like this, if you want, you can actually separate this as well. So you can actually write it like this if you want, just to make it easy for you. x plus 4 squared dx plus integral of 84x dx. It's literally the same thing. You don't need to... You can do it like that, or you can do it the um, other way as well. It's still the same same idea. All right. What I'm going to do is um, I'll actually do it just my way, which is basically just leaving the function as it is, as the question has said, which is this way. All right. Now, the first part, I'm going to try and integrate this. Integrating this, I can see that um, you can use substitution if you want, um, because, because when you separate it like this, it's easy to use substitution. But you don't really need to use substitution because the coefficient of x in this case is just 1. So you can just do reverse chain rule. So this would be x plus 4 to the power of 3 divided by 3. Okay. And then plus, now with integrating exponents, we write it as it is, isn't it? We don't do anything to it. Mm -hmm. So it's just 8e to the power of 4x. But we divide it by? 4. By the differentiation of the power itself which is 4 okay and then of course don't forget your plus C so you don't need to simplify this but if you want to the only simplification you really can do is just get rid of that 8 and 4 which is 2e 4x plus C is that right yeah cool that's it, guys. Thank you for watching the second episode of whatever this is. Daily Calculus. <laughs> daily. Oh, Calculus Daily. All right. Oh, calculus.